Fixold Cameras produces step-by-step, close-up videos of simple, common repairs and basic maintenance on classic and vintage cameras. Your ability, the quality of your tools, and the condition of your camera will affect the success of your repair endeavor. A successful completion of the demonstrated repairs ultimately depends on your camera repair skills. The first thing to do when a Canon A-series camera does not release is to remove the 6-volt battery and check with something other than the onboard battery check button. A battery tester or a multimeter will do this. An alkaline battery needs to read at least 6 volts. A silver or lithium battery needs to read at least 5.9. If the battery voltage is low, try a new battery to correct the release issue. If the no release condition still exists, remove the bottom cover to access the release magnet. Locate the release magnet and force the holding armature away from the permanent magnet. This should release the camera. If it releases, wind the camera and cock the shutter in preparation for the next step. In some models, cover tape will need to be removed from the release battery contacts. With a good battery in the camera, short the ground screw to the shutter release magnet terminals. If it releases, then the issue is not caused by a defective magnet. If it does not release, then the next step will be to clean the surfaces between the holding magnet and the release linkage. Gently fold back the plastic covering the release magnet. This will allow access to the surfaces that need to be cleaned. Clean the surface of the latch release linkage and the surface of the permanent magnet. Use a cleaning swab dipped in 91% isopropyl alcohol and scrub both of the surfaces thoroughly. Snap the plastic cover back in place. Be certain that a good battery is in the camera and test the magnet again. If it still does not release, then the magnet will need to be replaced. Remove the battery and desolder the two magnet contacts. This is done with a desoldering pump. Heat the solder with the iron and then place the pump over the molten solder. Work in quick steps so the underlying plastic is not melted. Any remaining solder can be removed with desoldering wick. Dip the tip of the wick in flux with the tip of the soldering iron over the wick, place onto the contact and rub. The molten solder will draw up into the braiding of the wick. Again, work quickly. Remove the ground screw and gently lift the flex circuit up away from the magnet. The three screws holding the magnet plate to the camera body should have already been removed. When installing the replacement battery, take care to align the contact post with the holes in the flex circuit and gently press into place. Once the position of the magnet is satisfactory, install the screws holding the battery plate to the camera body. Install the ground screw and again, working quickly, solder the connections to the flex circuit. Lightly touch the solder against the contact and bring the soldering tip against the solder to let the solder flow around the contact and once again work quickly. Once installed, check for proper operation. You're back in business. Thank you for watching.